Thanks uh, for joining us today. So today we were talking about intelligent automation and what is intelligent automation. So can you start by describing intelligent automation to us? Sure. Um, so we all know what automation is. Um, it's been around for a long time. So if you think about business process management, decision management, and uh, robotic process automation, right? Um, all those are automation capabilities that we've had for a long time with different focuses on what we're, we're trying to accomplish, right? And the goals we're trying to drive. Um, intelligent automation is really about applying um, artificial intelligence, machine learning on top of, right, as a framework on top of those capabilities, right, and extending them further than what we could before. So before if we look at it from like a decision management perspective where we were using decisions to basically treat knowledge as an asset that we could repeat and reuse and add more complex things, we can now apply like machine learning for advanced analytics, so predicting, learning over time what the best recommendations are for the results that we're looking to drive from an organizational perspective. Um, if we look at intelligent automation applied to robotic process automation, some key areas that we see um, the most benefit in, in, in helping organizations is going to be around the natural language processing, for example, right? So how can I have an intelligent agent maybe through voice or a chat bot uh, giving the RPA bot the ability to interact via voice or whatever that experience may be, but understanding that language via an email, um, interpreting the request, and then being able to fulfill that request by automating the tasks on the back end. Um, so that, that's really what it is. Simplistically, it's, it's applying kind of cognitive and human behavior and extending the automation capabilities and value that we've been able to provide in the past by applying these newer technologies to them. So if I'm looking to incorporate intelligent automation in my business, is one thing I could do really layering AI in its own, and, and machine learning in its own layer, and then putting all my automation in a different layer, maybe encapsulating them? Yeah, most definitely. And I, I think the recommendation that we like to say for organizations is we don't, understanding what their overall goals are, if that's going to be around you know, digital transformation, that's a hot right now or if it's around improving operational efficiencies, um, really understanding what's the overall automation capabilities that you need and looking at them as, as core functions, right? That they, they can be leveraged and not just trying to embed um, AI or intelligence into these little piece parts, right? But yeah. really looking at it holistically of saying, okay, like you, you mentioned, right? How can I have that layer of, of automation or intelligent automation capabilities that I can leverage, right? And not be worrying about um, if I have this type of machine learning over here and over here, but really as a, as a capability as a whole that I can manage and maintain as a discipline over time. Well, thanks, Matt, for joining us and talking to us about intelligent automation. We hope you'll be back soon. All right, thanks.